when you're ready to drop music, call the person you love the most and the person that loves you the most in this world. And as soon as they answer the phone, ask them, what are you waiting on? What you talking about? No. What are you waiting on? Man, would you tell me what you call me for? I need to know what are you waiting on? And if they don't say your music, ain't nobody waiting for it, bro. That's a fact. If the person you love most on earth and that loves you the most on earth, what you waiting on? And they can't answer it out. They, nobody's waiting on it. So you take your time and you marinate and you follow the steps and you preheat the oven and you make sure you got the garlic cloves and you got the ground, the pepper and the paprika and the bay leaves. And you got everything you need because once this comes out of the oven, you're going to feed that community that you've been building. Is it going to nourish their soul or is it going to be bitter to their belly? Get one shot. 100,000 songs a day. You kidding me? One shot, that's like a sperm. It's 100,000 a day, buddy. You know the odds that all of us beat to get here? Crazy. We're still fighting them every day when we drop music. That's the crazy part. Hey man, <laughs> we're all fighting for this for the for the to. <laughs> we're all fighting for that bar. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. To me, music is a kid, bro. You know, it, people tell me I got a song. You know, man, I'm gonna drop it on the on the third. Where's the cover? I ain't got no cover yet, so I don't know you pregnant. Where's the sonogram? I want to see the baby. You just telling me you pregnant? Now nah, I don't believe all that, bro. Mm -mm. Let me see the baby. Let me see what it look like. Okay, it's a boy. Cool. When the baby shower? When you go see the specialist? You know who the specialists are? The producer, the mix and mastering engineer, your lawyer, photographer. That's the doctor, Lamaze class, the specialist, the nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Then you have a baby shower. That's your listening party. Huh? <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you, bro? And then guess what happens when your kids are born? You got more. Anybody here have more than one kid? You got kids? No, none? You got two kids? Okay. You got five kids. Two kids. You got five. Listen, does any right. one kid get more than the other? They both, need to, they both need food, shelter, love, and attention. Uh -huh. But one of your two kids may be more athletic than the other one, so that one's got to go to the park. The other one may be more computer or te technologically savvy, so they may need more tablets than the other one does. Mm -hmm. So if this, if this child starts to excel, you're not going to feed this child no more? You go in the room. I forgot about you. You don't make no noise. You don't talk. You're not throwing the football farther enough. This child over here, excelling. A-rolls, you get food. You get nothing. Every time you drop a record, it has a birth date. It says so at the bottom of your song. Don't take my word for it. Go to Google right now. Go to Amazon right now. Go to YouTube. Go to, go to Apple Music. Go to Spotify. Look at the bottom of your page. It has the month, day, and year your song was born. You're going to have a hard time convincing me eight months later that you got a hot record and all you got is 64 streams in Australia. You're in the wrong country, mate. You need to take it down under because you ain't got no reason to be walking around Atlanta passing out a CD, passing out a thumb drive, passing out a flyer. Your fan base is in New Zealand. Do you know what language they speak in Italy? Italian. That's why your music does you real good as the top 25 in Italy. Really, really good. Maybe Google the percentage of the demographic of Italian population that speaks English. And you'll be disgusted to learn that it's maybe 20, 30% of 50-year-olds. How many 50-year-old Italian men or women do you envision walking around listening to some of the music that is number one in Italy, according to some of these kids' collective efforts. On August 12th, myself, Sean, and Jared McKee will be hosting a live event in Atlanta where we'll be sharing some of our best marketing, branding, and content strategies that we haven't really been able to put out anywhere else. So if you want a reason to come to Atlanta, or if you're in Atlanta, or if you just want to dap us up and see if we're real, go and get your tickets at nolabelsnecessary.com or check the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. We're only doing 60 tickets, like a hard 60 tickets, so you want to make sure that you're one of those 60. Once again, nolabelsnecessary.com or check the link in the description, and we'll see you there. You know, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because I feel like when artists think about the international marketing or campaigns, they just think about the numbers, right? Not them as actual people. And like you said, like, what is the cultural thing that's kind of going on there and how does it play into what you're doing? Do you make sense for these 50 years? You know, most right? of these artists don't even have their global collections set up. You know, you'd think that if you're, if you're impacting uh, Italian Italy, yeah. that you'd want your bio in I Italian. You'd want to make some post in Italian from your social media yeah, platform. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, you're, if your Apple artist says you just got 50 plays in Italy... <laughs> 
Ciao, amigo. Hey, bon, it, 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 baby, I, I don't care if I got to make a video sounding like Luigi. I'm, huh? I need to know. Do I need to get a passport ready? There's, there's an American military base. There are soldiers there. There are people who speak English. I'm not telling you that you're not going to reach those people. I'm telling you what good does it do when you bring your analytics to a platform, to a program director in Atlanta, and he looks at it and it says New Zealand, Green Bay, Australia, Russia. What does it do for the program director in Atlanta? What does it do for the program director in St. Louis, in Richmond, Virginia, in Detroit, Michigan, in Flint, Michigan? What does it do for the guy in Little Rock, Arkansas, in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, Rocky Point, North Carolina? What does it do for those guys that you have streams in Australia that should take a gamble on you? Take a gamble on you. Are you kidding me? Beyonce got the concert, the tickets, the people are calling in. They don't want to listen to you. People are calling in right now. People have things to do. I don't have to worry about you. And that's what these artists, and they need to, they need to figure that out. You make people worry about you because nobody cares.